In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily create and add a watermark to your photos in Photoshop 2024. Hello photographer, welcome back to my channel. For the ones who doesn't know me yet, my name is Silvia. I'm a specialist in a magazine style of maternity photography. In this channel, I talk about professional editing techniques to help you make more money with your photos. Now let's get into the video. A watermark can be used in many different ways. Some people like to add the watermark to their work when they are posting photos on the internet, or maybe you want to send a proof gallery to your client so they can select their photos that they would like to purchase. And a watermark would be very helpful in case they try to screenshot or download the photos they are not ready for them to have. So here is how you can easily create a very simple watermark and add to your photo. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project here. So I'm going to go to file new and I'm going to create here something um, six by four inches, any size that you actually want. I'm going to create a new layer here. I'm going to stop visualizing the background. And right here, I'm going to create a white logo. So I'm just going to use the name of my brand. But if you have a design, if you have uh, something with more details, just take your time to do this part and create however you want. So for me, something that's very simple that works right now, I'm going to create a Sylvia's photography. And I'm going to live right here in the middle. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. You don't need to use the whole space in the photo, in the project here. So for example, don't go all the way to the edge, just have some space to breathe. So I'm just going to leave it here and I'm going to centralize this. I'm going to hit OK. So this is good for me. And now what you want to do is to create a pattern. So I'm going to go here to window and I'm going to look for patterns. So I'm going to go here in the, plus, in the plus sign and it's create new pattern and you're going to hit this and you're going to just type whatever you want to type like logo, Sylvia's photography. So I'm going to hit OK and now I'm going to go back to the photo there. I want to add the watermark. I'm going to go to filters here and I'm going to select pattern. And of course that this is not what we want, but when you click here in the image of, of the pattern, uh, in, at the bottom, you're going to find exactly the pattern that you just created, right? So you're going to select that. And right now it's not looking very good, but we are going to adjust this. So one thing that I like to do for my photography business, my maternity photography business is that I like the watermark to be a little bit angled. So I'm going to do like an angle of 30 or maybe 45. Let me see 45. I think I prefer 30 for some reason. And here the scale is how big or how small do you want your logo to be? So you can make it smaller and have many, many of your names right there, or you can make it way bigger. I like to do it a little bit smaller, not too, too small, but a little bit smaller. I think like this is good for me. So I'm going to hit 50. I'm going to press OK. And right now the watermark is ready. However, it's been really, really hard for my client to see the photo. So the last thing that we are going to do is to work with the opacity of this layer. So I'm going to lower all the way to zero and slowly I'm just going to go up with my opacity. And I think that 40 is good enough. If you think that the logo is too small, you can always double click here and change this scale and just make it bigger. For example, like this, and you can work more with the opacity. You can do something that's less visible as well. So just do what it feels good for you that you think that it's not gonna um, make it harder for the client also to select the photo. I personally prefer a little bit smaller of a logo. I think something like this, 
But again, just play with the opacity and do what it feels best for you. Now you know how you can easily create and add a watermark to your photos. Click the like button if this video was helpful for you. This is definitely one of the steps that I have on my workflow with my photography clients. If you're selling photos and letting your clients choose their favorite ones, I would suggest you to do the same thing. It is a way to avoid them getting photos that they're not supposed to get. If they do end up getting the photos and use them somehow, like posting them on Instagram, at least your name will be there in the photo. So it's like marketing for you. And trust me, I've seen clients doing that before. So having the watermark is really, really beneficial for you. If you want to know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with your photos, check out my latest video here on the screen. Also, subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. For now, this is everything. I will see you next time.